Hello everybody and welcome back to Crypto Time. I think this is a video that I really need to make and that I really need to get this point across to Ripple holders. Now, now although this video is going to focus on Ripple, you can take what I'm saying in this video and apply it to just about every coin right now. Literally just about every coin. So, um, if you're not a Ripple holder or if you just happen to stumble upon this video or watch this video, you can take this advice and put it onto any single coin that maybe you're holding or thinking about holding or whatever. So, the first thing I want to get across is that Please don't be worried about this market crash because it really is not as big of a deal as everybody is making it out to be. This, I'm not going to say it needed to happen in this magnitude, but something like this definitely needed to happen to the market. As I explained in my video yesterday, we literally had a $250 billion, even over $250 billion pump into the market in December alone. And for cryptocurrency as a whole to only go up and up and up and up and up without ever having something like this happen is not healthy for the market. It cannot just continue to pump with no crash, no correction, anything. And although certain coins were correcting, there would also be certain coins that were always pumping. So seeing something like this happen in the beginning of the year is healthy for our market. I would much rather it happen in the beginning of 2018 rather than in the middle or towards the end of 2018. I would much rather I'll start off with this happening, getting a clean slate for 2018, and having coins at workable values to start 2018 with. So I just really wanted to get that point across, and the fact that this has happened before. There is a picture circulating, I couldn't find it, about how in the beginning of each, each year, we see a very, very significant sell-off of all the coins in probably the top 1 to 50, top 1 to 100, of people taking their profits from the year, and then going to be reinvesting them. Obviously, this year is much worse than the others, but you also have to keep in mind that our market from this year to last year is over $600 billion more, maybe even $700 billion more than last year. So obviously, there's going to be a much more significant crash with that much more money being invested into cryptocurrency. Our market has gone up by thousands of percents from last year to this year, and I'm sure we'll have the same type of thing happen from this year to next year. So please, do not do not fall into the FUD. Please do not sell your coins at lows. That is really not what we, we need right now. We need people to have strong hands. We need people to hold. And we need people to just take a step back. Take a step back. Calm down. Look at the markets and look at the opportunity you have. I think so many people are so worried about all of these prices being down that they're not realizing that, hey, this is a really good opportunity for me to buy into some of the coins I missed out on. Maybe I wanted to buy Stellar, but I missed out and didn't want to buy it at whatever it was two weeks ago. Okay, now you have a chance to buy it at 37 cents. Um, a coin that a lot of people are talking to me about is Verge. Maybe you thought you missed the train on Verge. Now it's 7 cents. Great time to get in. All of these coins are, are doing what I like to call having a sale. All of these coins are on sale right now. And I think this is a perfect time to expand your portfolio. I think this is the perfect time to diversify your portfolio. And if you have a coin, maybe you're, maybe you're really into Litecoin and you really believe in Litecoin's technology and you think Litecoin's going to have a, a $5,000 a year, a $10,000 a year. Well, now's the time to triple, double, quadruple down on your investment now that it's 165 opposed to being 270 280 where it usually sits at. So just please, guys, take a step back realize what's happening, get over the FUD, and then start making logical decisions, okay? So now that I have that out of the way, I want to talk about Ripple to the Ripple holders. I'm a Ripple holder. I know that my biggest video, probably where I got the most subscribers from, was that Ripple announcement video, so I'm sure that I have a lot of subscribers uh, and viewers that are looking at Ripple and having a lot of fun because I've gotten a couple emails over the past day, and when I just live streamed, I had a bunch of people asking about Ripple. So what I'm going to say about Ripple is that you should not be worried. The only thing about Ripple is that it was probably the coin to crash the hardest. Reason being, it was pumped one of the hardest coins from in December because it literally went from twenty cents to over three dollars, and its market cap went from about twenty to thirty billion all the way to like hundred and thirty billion. When we passed Ethereum, we passed Ethereum very significantly by by about forty five billion dollars. There's a forty five billion dollar difference between Ethereum and Ripple, and now we're kind of seeing it have a really really hard correction and a really hard crash because of that huge massive pump and so many people I think getting in with weak hands. Now are weak hands the only and, and by, by weak hands I mean people who are seeing the price go down, worried it's gonna keep going and they sell off their position so that they don't lose any more money. Not knowing that they should have just held on to their position so that when it goes back up you aren't affected by this. But anyways, 
So I don't think that weak hands are the only cause of this. Now there is South Korean news, there's Chinese news, there's American news. There's a lot of news and a lot of speculation going around about why this is happening, how this is happening, etc. Um, a really big one is the whole futures manipulation thing. That's, I think, for another video. I'm not going to get into that right now. But if you guys want to look that up, it's actually very, very interesting. Um, it, there's a whole theory on it. So if you guys want to look it up, it's, it's very interesting. I would, I, would, um, I would implore you to do that. But with Ripple, the thing is that, yes, okay, we lost a lot of money on market cap. That, you know, there's no getting by that. Will we get back up? Yes, okay? Ripple is going to come back. There are so many announcements, there are so many partnerships, there are so many technological advances that Ripple is currently doing and planning on in 2018. There's so much coming for Ripple in 2018 that you should not be worried. And the thing is too, or it's very easy to be behind a coin when it's doing well, but when it's not doing well, that's really when you need to be behind your coin and say, okay, I know we're having a bad time right now. We've lost almost, almost $100 billion in market cap, but let's take a step back. Let's think about what's happening. Okay, it's happening to all the coins. And yes, maybe Ripple is affected a little more than others. But let's just take a step back, calm down, and figure out what you want to do. Right now, if you're really, really passionate about Ripple, you really think that it's going to be a, a revolutionary coin, then right now is a perfect time to buy, guys. It's $1 opposed to $3 that it was, what, three weeks ago, two weeks ago. So if you're really into it, guys, it's having a big time sale. It even got to, I think, $0.92 cents today. It might go to 80 cents. Who knows? But if you are really into Ripple, you should think about buying right now because it's a great time to buy. Another good thing to do is follow big Ripple supporters or follow the CEO. Follow the Ripple Twitter. Follow other people who work within Ripple because they will give you information. They will give you things that will calm your nerves because they know that everybody gets very scared and a lot of FUD spreads when their price drops this significantly. And I'm sure a lot of coins are having the same exact thing. It's not only Ripple. That's something you guys need to realize too. As I know when you have a large holding in a certain coin and it's going down, it just feels like the world is crashing and this is only happening to me and whatever. But every other coin is suffering too. Too. So I'm sure there's holders of Stellar, I'm sure there's holders of Litecoin, Cardano, Bitcoin Cash even that are having awful days and thinking the same thing. So just the biggest thing guys is to take a step back, you know, take everything in, observe, find out what's happening and then make your logical decisions. If you really think that Ripple's not going to go back up, if you really don't have faith in Ripple, okay, sell your position. That's fine, okay? But if you preach about holding the coin, if you are all in on Ripple, right now is a great time to double down, triple down, quadruple down on your investment because it is so cheap right now relatively to what it was two weeks ago. So as always, guys, my videos are not financial advice. I'm just seeing so much FUD and so many people so worried about the price and this market crash. And I just want to get my message across, guys, that please, this is, you know, the crash is lasting a little longer than we anticipated. But that's okay. This needs to happen. Let it happen. It's going to be over soon. And 2018 is going to go right back to how it was. We're going to have an amazing 2018, as I keep saying. I think that 2018 is going to be a great year for crypto. Just take a step back. Like I keep saying, just take a step back, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you got something out of it. Or I hope at least maybe I calmed some nerves. Or you know, maybe got people in the right place mentally. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate those of you who are coming out to the live streams. I really enjoy when I'm streaming and there's constant conversation going on. So I appreciate that and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till then everybody, see ya.